My name is Matthias Del Campo from Span Architects in Vienna, Austria. Span was founded by Sandra Manninger and myself in 2003. Both of us are basically science fiction fans and uh, of course one of the desires we have is to get this kind of, uh, let's say, sensibilities into architecture with the use of computational design tools. We always work with the computer as the main design tool but we also have the desire to make that physically what we create on the computer. So we don't want it to stay a rendering. That's not enough for us. We really want to make it physical in a way. At the beginning, you start making models by hand. You can actually do, let's say, models of complex curved geometries by hand. I mean, Gaudí did that 100 years ago. But on the other hand, it is very time consuming. You need to be very precise. It is something that is very costly because you outsource that most of the time. A model the size of a shoebox would take, not for sure, four to five, six days. And with the HP machine, the same size would take 24 hours. So the HP Design Jet 3D provided us with the possibility to increase the speed, which means that we save several days in, in shipping and, and all sorts of things. Every day that you get more, that you can put in a design, is of course an advantage in the competition process. It's very simple to use. It is actually just sitting there and working, basically like one of the other guys working in the office. And nothing is too complicated for the machine. Everything that you design watertight on the computer can be 3D printed, no matter how intricate or complicated it is. To do something by hand like this is impossible in my eyes and with another technology it would be very very difficult to get these kind of very thin ribs that are holding here the facade into each, to each other. You can do really things that would be absolutely unthinkable for a model maker. We're actually at the moment working on a high riser uh, in China. I don't think that we could have done the models in any other way faster than we did now with the HP Design Jet 3D. It really gave us the opportunity to, to react very fast, first of all on the, our architectural demands of course and our design, but on the other hand also we could react very fast on the specifics of the customer. I think one of the biggest advantages of the machine is the robustness of the models. I dropped one of the models that were made with the HP Design Jet 3D print and I was like, oh my god, I dropped it. It dropped on the floor and nothing happened. For customers it's of course great, it's for them always a surprise to see basically what they are going to have at the end of the day when they build it in a very detailed and sophisticated model. I think it's very satisfying for them. It is sometimes difficult to understand uh, the potential of an architectural space completely only looking at a 2D representation. But if you have it in 3D, it's really just, you take it in your hands and then it's a German word called begreifen. Yeah? which means you touch something, but simultaneously you get it. 